Welcome to today's Power Tips 365 tip. It's a brand new feature in PowerPoint 2016 which just came out with the latest Windows update and it's called Zoom. It enables you to create an intro slide or any slide for that matter to become kind of a shortcut to allow you to zoom around your presentation in any order that you please. And in order to explain it properly, I'm going to demonstrate right now. And you'll see that I've taken a presentation that I already have and I'm going to create a zoom with the section headings of each slide. Here I am with my presentation called Office 365, What Can It Do For Me? It's something that I give over at conferences and I've delivered it a couple of times. Now I want to create an intro slide which would allow me to pick which section to move to when I want to. And you'll see I've collapsed the navigation pane on the left and you can see I've got four sections in my presentation. So I'm just going to expand them all. Uh, expand each one of them like so and you'll see that there are various slides inside all of them. I'm going to choose to expand all from here. So to create my intro slide I, I'm going to start at the beginning, I'm going to be right at the top of my presentation and I'll be on the insert ribbon and I'll choose Zoom. This is a new icon. If you're using Office 20, Office 365 and you've just got your Office updates for PowerPoint 2016, you will now find this new Zoom button on the Insert ribbon. There are three types of Zoom that you can create. You can create a Summary Zoom, which we're going to do now, a Section Zoom or a Slide Zoom. We're just going to focus on a Summary Zoom for this little tutorial. I'll choose Summary zoom and then it offers me a selection of slides all of the slides in my presentation but at the top it says select the beginning side of each section while you're presenting pick any section in the summary zoom to quickly move to it you'll notice that it's ticked automatically slide 1 and slide 3 and also slide 9 and slide 11 and slide 14 because those are my current section headers. So I'm going to go with that and it creates this lovely slide with a thumbnail of each of those slides on it. So I'm going to just um, Office 365 what can it do for me. There's the title and I can now style my zoom. So if I click into the placeholder where it's popped the thumbnails, you'll see I have Zoom Tools Format Ribbon. So just like anything else in Office 2016, you get a contextual ribbon. And I can style my little Zoom icons. I can make them look however I want them to look. I can give them, uh, I can make them a funny shape. Um, I can, I can do whatever I like. Um, I quite like, uh, where was it? that one no let's go with that one I quite like this one I can also give them all a border so they match my theme I could choose a different color I'm going to go with a darker blue um, and that's my zoom slide created so you might be wondering how does this work in practice here I have the presentation I'm going to go into slideshow view and I'm going to play it from the beginning and here is my intro slide. Now it's got its title, it's got its thumbnails and if I decide I want to go straight to the section called the modern business, I can click on there, it gives me a very nice effect and now when I press um, to move through, I'm now in that section called the modern business and I can go through all of those and when I finish that section it takes me back out to my summary slide. Now I could go and say well let's have a look at what it means. Files are always available. So again I can go through those particular slides and it brings me back. I'll look at mobility next. I don't have to go in my prescribed order. I can customize on the fly. So that's what we can do with this brilliant new feature called Zoom in PowerPoint. Just to reiterate, to create one, you go to the Insert ribbon, the new Zoom will appear in the Links group and you decide whether you want to create a summary, a section or a slide Zoom. 
To find out how we can help you make the most out of PowerPoint 2016 in your organisation, give us a call on 0208 203 1774. If you visit our website www.theittrainingsurgery.com, you'll find all of our course outlines are listed there. We look forward to helping you get the most out of Office 365. Thanks for listening.